Here's the lone wolf. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. The Lone Wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Tell us all about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B-Show to the show A star of stage, screen, reality, television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. You guys are weird. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional Ouch. about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, oh. I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Get in there, ref. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Here we go, back inside the ring. Heavy duty right hand. Close line. Kick to the... What a strike. He knows he's in trouble. Stay down, man. Oh my gosh. Baron Corbin loves to hit people. Before entering sports entertainment, Corbin played professional football and was a boxer. Known as the Lone Wolf, Corbin then set his sights on NXT. You gotta believe this one's over! Baron Corbin made waves as soon as he set foot in NXT, and that's exactly what the Lone Wolf wanted. Corbin assaulted superstars like Ty Dillinger, Neville, Kalisto, Fiend Balor, and Samoa Joe. Corbin joined names like Cesaro and The Big Show when he became the third winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. 
Corbin then set his coordinates for the main roster and looked to destroy superstars like Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Apollo Crews, and a familiar foe, Kalisto. Oh, 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 what a boot! The Miz has held so many titles in his career. WWE Champion, Tag Team Champion, the United States Champion, but over the, the last few years, he's truly become synonymous with the Intercontinental title. Backbreaker! That'll realign your vertebrae. What a stomp! Good grief! This might be it! Oh my! Oh, continuing to punish them! Enough already! Not much more can be endured, I think, here for The Miz. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Michael brought up that The Miz and the Intercontinental title have been intertwined, and it's probably because He's won it in so many high-profile matches. In fact, he won his first Intercontinental title on the 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw in 2012. And he started subsequent reigns at other big shows like WrestleMania 29, Night of Champions, Extreme Rules, and at the 25th anniversary of Raw. Those are all must-see events, thanks to the most must-see Intercontinental Champion of all time. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Sit out, suplex. Oh, the reversal by the Miz. Hooked up and... Delivered. The Miz is showboating, but I'm not sure this occasion calls for it. Up and down. He can't withstand one bit more. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Penny predicament. And he got a near fall out of it. Man, oh, man. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. Incredible drop. Incredible impact. Baron Corbin is measuring. The end is near for him. He might have it. Beautiful technique. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. Oh, nasty impact. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Oh, Corey, he had loaded there. Goodness, this hurts! Oh! The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The end of days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the lone wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. Irish whip! Wicked clothesline! This might be it! Oh my! Given Baron Corbin's size, strength, and striking ability, an opponent must try to always be moving and keep the lone wolf off balance. And by the way, good luck with that. He's making a statement here with this attack. Good golly, what a knee. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Power, agility, toughness, and a massive 6'8", 275 pound frame means there's a lot to prepare for against Baron Corbin. Corey, you offer the best advice a superstar needs to be on the move and keep this monster off balanced. The Lone Wolf possesses all of the physical and mental tools to dominate an opponent. That's why it's essential for a competitor who's going up against Baron Corbin to not allow him to get set. Keep him guessing. He wants it one more time. Beautiful technique. 
Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Gentlemen, Baron Corbin might have this one all sewn up. I think you're right, Corey. Deep six from the Lone Wolf. Oh, what impact. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Power bomb. He's got him covered. Too close for cover. How'd he do that? Elbow drop. Right to the heart. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And look at the impactful slam! Harsh impact! Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Ooh! sure he understands what really matters. Oh, he turns it around. Oh, good night. Sorry. The Miz is as skilled on the microphone as he is in the ring. And his look out. Baron Corbin is back. You've got to believe this one's over. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. Not going to stop until it gets the job done, I guess. Shoulders on the back. Corbin wins! The lone wolf can bask in the glory of his own spotlight. Here is your winner, Baron Corbin! That was a big pinfall victory right there. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.